The main goal of this playthrough is to get to 1 million caps legitimately, without cheats, mods or glitches, with the exception of the companion unlimited carrying weight glitch. And we are going to do all this in survival mode. This is Baron Moffat and this is the story. Our starting point for today is 560,000 caps, 17 settlements, 8100 purify waters, 750 caps a day from store income, total melon production of 894, corn and potato production of 288, 84 meat fruit production and 216 razor grain production. Today I was planning on bringing you two ways of making caps. However, after researching a bit on each one of the methods, I noticed that only one of the two is actually reliable. The two methods include making caps out of technical documents and tools. Retrieving documents to Proctor Quinlan will award you 25 caps per document, which actually sounds really good, until you realize that those documents only appear randomly throughout the Commonwealth. There are of course some places like Gunners Plaza, for example, where you are likely to find more documents than usual. Either than that, of course you are going to encounter technical documents throughout the Commonwealth, but not very consistently. Therefore, I'm going to focus on how to make money from tools because this method is way more consistent for everyone. So meet Calvin, the head of maintenance in Vault 81. This Vault Dweller will pay you 15 caps per tool, which if you consider that sometimes vendors will pay you 1 cap per certain tools, it's pretty damn good. The tools include wrenches, adjustable wrenches, combination wrenches, hammers, ball pin hammers and screwdrivers. There are essentially two ways to get these tools. These ways include just finding them across the Commonwealth, which is fairly easy to come across. Although it's random, you are much more likely to find tools than technical documents. But still, the randomness doesn't make this method very consistent. The second and most reliable way to get these tools is through vendors. You have tens of vendors across the Commonwealth which will sell you these tools for very low prices. Although these prices vary with the amount of charisma that your character has, they will always be less expensive than 15 caps, which means that you can make a profit. The types of vendors that you have to look for are the ones that sell you junk. Some examples include Myrna at Diamond City Surplus and Rufus at the Hotel Rocks Ford in Good Neighbor. Additionally, and this is the method that I use the most, you can actually buy the specified tools from your own vendors. In my specific case, since I sell most of the purified water that I produce to my own vendors, I'm essentially trading purified waters for tools. This means that I'm always making the 15 caps per tool with no downside, regardless of the price. When recording the last episode in this one, anytime I would find any of these tools in the Commonwealth, or would I sell purified water to any vendor, I would buy any tool that they would sell. That way, I was able to accumulate a bit over 100 tools, getting more than 1500 caps. I don't think that 1500 caps is a mind-blowing number, however, you can't really question the method's reliability. My advice is to keep an eye out for these tools when you are exploring the Commonwealth. And for sure, you'll make some money on the side using this method. And finally, of course, no episode is complete without our three settlements of today, which include Crop Manor, Kingsport Lighthouse, and Coastal Cottage. All the settlements got treated with 20 defense, 10 beds, 12 mood fruit plants, 20 water and of course we invested 900 caps on each settlement to get 3 trading stands. And considering our total population across the commonwealth, this will be more than enough to meet our 50 caps a day per settlement. Concluding today's episode, we reached 753,000 caps, 20 settlements, 5300 purify waters, we reached 900 caps a day from store income, during this episode we invested 2700 caps in our stores, our total melon production remains the same at 894, our corn and potato production are 288, our meat fruit production is 120 and our razor grain is 216. As you probably can tell, we are becoming experts in making caps in Fallout 4. I'm very excited to announce that the next episode of Road to 1 Million Caps is going to be the last one. It's going to be an exciting one, so make sure to subscribe to not miss the end of this great challenge. I really appreciate all your support and I'll see you again in the next video. Have a great week.